What's up everyone? My name is Joseph Lipson. Welcome to another Tech Talk. And as we finish out 2021, I wanna bring you my favorite app that I think is gonna run my 2022. Roll that intro. So today, we're gonna to talk the app Things 3. Before I start talking about this app, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel because you like these videos, please hit that subscribe button. If you go to the details of this video, I'll have the chapters laid out of what I'm talking about, when I'm talking about it, so you can jump around if you'd like to or jump back and forth. So I use a to-do app every single day. I use it when I wake up in the morning. I use it after I get out of the car, when I get to work, when I get home from work. Every hour of the day, you can find me usually on a to-do app. And I've been through quite a few. If you go to my library, you can see I've downloaded quite a few. So why have I come back to Things 3? And for me, I've come back to Things 3 simply because of the interface. The interface of Things 3 is something that blows everything else out of the water. So I was always a planner person. As you can see, this is my planner. I still use this for my everyday day job at work, but for my personal, I've gone strictly to the iPad and Things 3. And the reason Things 3 works for me, and this is a video of why it works for me, if you have a to-do app that works for you, great. I'm not trying to make a narrative here, but how it works for me is it inspires me, it motivates me, it gives me a reason to check things off, it gives me a reason to really hold myself accountable. So I started with Things 3 and I jumped over to Reminders. And the reason I jumped over to Reminders was because I wanted to be completely in an Apple ecosystem. And the things that Reminders did that was great was you could do stuff based on location. You could do stuff based on when you get out of the car, but it lacked an interface. It lacked an interface and it lacked kind of, when you got deep into projects and deep into project development, it lost you with being able to categorize things and list things and go deep into categories. So getting started, I have everything categorized by emojis. And as you can see, I have my personal, my video project, my business, my finance, and my research all categorized by a special emoji. So first thing I do is I come to the Today app. And the Today app is an example of what I do when I first wake up in the morning and where most of my day is spent was within this app. And it's all of the tasks that I have set as a due date of today's calendar day. And then as you can see, when I talk about the emojis, they're separated by the area, which starts off with the emoji it belongs to. So that's today. But when you wake up in the morning and you see that uh, you're gonna do your body weight workout at night, you can swipe and you can hit this evening and it categorizes to the evening. I'm gonna meditate this evening. So you can break things up from what's due in the day and then just stuff you're gonna do later in the day in the evening and separate it that way. There's also a way where you can do upcoming events. So if you don't have a specific day but you know you have to do it, all you have to do is say I need to call this person. All you do is this and you hit someday and it moves to a separate area that's just a tab right here called someday and you just have different things within there that you know you have to do but there's not a specific due date of when they have to get done and you just know you have to eventually do them and when that time comes you can assign them. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is areas. What are areas? Areas are, think of life goals. Think of something that doesn't have a due date and a category that other things can live within. So for me, my areas are personal, video projects, business, finance, and research. I categorize everything within those areas to specific days. And again, the reason I use an emoji is quick glance. I know right away I see the face with the sunglasses. I know it's my personal. I see the TV box. I know it's a video project. I'm gonna show you an example of an area leading into a project and kind of just a list with it. So I'm gonna go into video production and I'm gonna go task and project management using things in 2022, the video I'm shooting right now. So I'm gonna go into that and video project was my area, task and project management for 2022 for things three is my project. And with here is where the entire project lives. I always set a deadline. I always set a due date. And if it works out, I set a specific tag. Within video production, I have YouTube, Tech Talk, and Drop In With Joseph as tags. Finance, I have transfer subscriptions and bills. And research is a new one I have where I have a wish list, skills to learn, movies and shows to watch, and books to read. And what's cool about finance is if you go like into bills, you have all your bills set to the day the bills due or a few days before the bills due. And 
just pops up on your screen with that and you don't really have to remind, remember about bills because you're gonna get notifications when they're close to being due, which is pretty cool. So that's a perfect segue for me to talk about headings. Headings are what these blue things are right here. And this one says chapter, shot list, and thumbnail. And what's great about these is these were not in Things 3 when I originally had it before I made the switch and then back. So these are relatively new. But what's great about these is it's a way you can categorize everything and you can move them around with ease. If you wanna move it around, you hold it down, move it up. Hold it down, move it up. You check within each one and you can categorize within a project a lot easier than you could before. And then that leads me into checklists now. And checklists are really what this is made for. I'm gonna to go to my today and you just have the things you have to check. So it's the evening and I meditated. Check it off and it's gone. Tags is something I should be using more that I don't use enough. And I think it's something I really wanna figure out how to use in a better, more effective way. But for me, the way I use it is I go to video projects and let's say I hit vlog episode three that I'm shooting this weekend. And right here, as you can see in green, it says drop in with Joseph. And right here, these are tags. Drop in with Joseph, Tech Talk, and YouTube. And I use these tags within my video projects file to categorize which video is assigned to what. And that's really how tags works. And I can see it working in many ways with like a grocery list or like what stores you have to go to and stuff like that. So inbox is the next thing. And the way inbox works is you take the plus and you drag it over and you do something. Meditate. I need to meditate tonight. You have it set, it's already set at inbox, you hit save. And just like that, it shows up in the inbox. And what's cool about that is then you can go to your shortcuts and you can hit quick add task and you can build this in your shortcuts and hit iPad. Hit done. You see it turn into there. Come to your phone, do the same thing, quick add. Just do iPhone. Done. See the plus, check. Come over here, come to your inbox and there you have it. And the reason this is so cool is because at the beginning and the end of the day, I just fill things up into my inbox and then I just come in here and I assign it to places. We'll do that the first, we'll do that the fourth, we'll move this to my workouts, and just like that, you come in, you go, and they're gone. And they're separated and categorized to the places they need to be. Every morning I wake up, first thing I do is I hit this, and it puts my calendar right next to my things. My two most productive apps I have right next to each other with the click of a button. And then all of these shortcuts are Siri enabled. So I can say, hey assistant, if you've seen my videos, you know I'm not gonna say it because there's some things around here that like to listen to me. And I can say, add a, add a quick reminder and it'll add it to the inbox. And I can name it add to inbox if I wanted to. I can customize it to say whatever I want the command to be, which is cool. My favorite update is widgets. They're located just right on the home screen. You can come in here, hit the plus, things, and you have a one, you have the list, you have the big list, and then you have the huge list, and then you have this with all the up next, which I haven't used this one, but I might use this one eventually. And to round things out, this app works for me. Like I said earlier, if it doesn't work for you and another one does, great. That's all I want, because I think productivity is something so important to our everyday life. And why not bring in the new year with new goals and find a way to keep yourself accountable and get yourself checking off on those goals. So thanks for watching this video. Happy 2022, happy new year. And until the next video, thank you.